This episode is sponsored by Dead Rising Haunted House. Located at 13624 South Cicero Avenue, Crestwood, Illinois 60445. Go buy tickets at deadrisinghauntedhouse.com. I'm Jason. Who are you? John. Who are you? I work with you. Oh, it's Amanda. <laughs> We're here with Halloween Blast at Dead Rising Haunted House. Where are you guys located? 13624 <laughs> <laughs> South Cicero <laughs> Avenue in Crestwood, Illinois. Crestwood, Illinois, guys, you heard it. Well, are you guys like open or like uh, going to be opening? Yes, we're open. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> what do you guys do? <laughs> I mean, I know uh, house, but like... What, we what plant flowers and oh. sing kumbaya. <laughs> Where did you guys come up with the name Dead Rising? Uh, he came up with it. I was just... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I really like the name Dead. So, and we couldn't use Dead Rising without initializing it. Because of the video games and the other stuff that's got the name Dead Rising to it. So we put periods in, uh, right, and I became up, <laughs> and I came up with names for each one of the letters to describe it. I always wondered why it had the little dots. That's I never just, actually asked. What, what, what they're just a demonic, eternal, anarchy, and devastation. Sorry, last one. Devastation. Ah. Because if you if you walk through our house, our haunt, it's kind of. You, you you feel demonic. There's anarchy all over the place. You know it's internal chaos. Yeah, and it's complete devastation in there. Yeah. I gotta stop so, the pens. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's. I mean, the name suits the place. Did, did you ask them what what why they why they started the haunted house? I thought you asked that, didn't you? No. no why did and you start? I just said the haunted house. Um, because once I left Dream Reapers, I needed a place to be, and I didn't want to work for anybody else, so I worked for me, and <laughs> brought my family along and got into back into the business. Wait, are you guys related? No, I don't even know who this no, guy I've is. And... This guy in my life. Wait, are you guys the owners of the haunted house? Uh, no. Oh. Uh. I'm the owner. He just works for me. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Say that again. I said I'm the owner. He you work for me. Lies, lies, lies. Suddenly fired. <laughs> yeah. You won't be working tomorrow. How long have you guys been in business? I mean, they could probably do the math. Oh, uh, reapers well, closed. But I've going been on year seven here. Well, not here. here we've been here for so. seven to get in this this particular haunt. But in all total, I've been in business for close to thirty years. Close to thirty years. Yeah different places um, different haunts some home haunts I did a lot of work for a lot of other people until I decided to go on an adventure my own 
Well, what makes your hunt different? Uh, we're well, we're not typical haunt. Uh, we don't touch people, but... Um, we're very interactive. Interactive. We entertain more than we scare. There's no jumping out and going, boo, you know, and all that crap. We'll scare you, and we'll make you laugh all at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> I was just thinking, oh, I can't like, say that in the way. Okay. <laughs> That's what makes us unique. Okay. <laughs> It's not a prop, I swear. You have to talk this into is, it. This is a real microphone. <laughs> so. <laughs> it's an adult haunt. You have to be 18 or older. Wait, and do I have no ID? Yes. Can it be a fake ID? Yes. <laughs> well, you oh. might want we might want a real one if you want to get in. Oh, okay. She's, he's looking at you. You have some questions. I'll ask, I'll ask. Wait, do I have to pay to get in? How much are tickets? Do you guys have tickets? Is there a fee okay. to get in? First off. You won't have to come in. <laughs> tickets are twenty dollars, and yes, there is tickets. Okay. Answered all three of your questions there. Okay. Right. All answered. All before answered. You, before you could ask another one. Okay. Well, like, three at once. Yeah, I get off. Since you guys said you're eighteen and old, you have to be eighteen and older. Do I have to sign a waiver or something? Like, is there a paper? Like. Yes. Yeah, you have to sign a waiver to. Uh, so in case you get aggravated or get too much blood or junk on you. Um, you can, so you can. Bring new, like, other clothes, yeah, you should bring wear cl clothes that you're not worried about getting messy. So not white. You can bring white. I mean, you can. I mean, you can bring white clothes and wear them, but uh, uh, I don't recommend it. And try to bring plastic or something to put on your car seats because you get dirty and you don't want to sit on your on your but car seat. Don't worry about that in October. We're totally not messy. Yeah, regular October, uh, we don't, we don't do that stuff. Well, at least we try not to, anyway. Yeah. Ah. Question you. Do you guys have any fair memories? Have you guys made people like you know use the bathroom on themselves? Any fun? I want to hear a story. Tell me stories. <laughs> we had the last eighteen and older haunt. We had a lady in the trunk, and we were rolling around in the parking lot, and. Uh, they finally opened the trunk to let her out and she stood up and she was wet from here to here oh on both God. sides. And she said, she goes, yes, I did. Pee she goes, yes, I did. I peed on myself. So that's a, you know, and we had a, a guy get in his father's car and <laughs> all over his father's car <laughs> and then come back and blame me. So, so you guys did scare the crap out of him. Right. Literally. Scared the crap out of him. Literally. Yeah. And <laughs> That also made the French laugh. I had a feeling you had more to say. You so always that, have more No, to see, say. Like, that's why I say we, we'll scare you, but then we're also going to get a laugh out of you. We scared the shit out of your friends, so you guys are all now laughing at them. Yeah. <laughs> so you get to laugh and get a scare. <laughs> oh, oh, you're talking about your old partner. I remember that guy. <laughs> I don't know who the hell you're talking about. So I'm like, who he, are you talking, talking about? Oh, we're talking about in the gen, customer you general. was just talking about in oh. the story. In general. You that, lost uh, me for like two seconds. We scare you, but then we make you laugh. So. Hey, I have another question. <laughs> What's your guys' favorite room of the hunt? Mine's the clown room. <laughs> <laughs> That's been I, I think mine is the alley. Okay. Because uh, if I'm short and hot, I usually work the alley, so. I didn't know that. Yeah. That's something I actually want to see. Uh, I'm a homeless guy that threatens to kill people if they keep touching my money. Okay. You know. How are you? Are you a character in there? Yeah. What are you? What's your character? I'm an outside clown. Oh. Wait, so you run around outside and scare the crap out of everyone? Uh huh. Ooh, sounds scary. He's a, he's a clown. I don't scare people. I entertain them. Uh, Everybody else is scaring while I'm making them laugh. Talking to the mic. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go, talking to the mic. <laughs> Do you guys have like a favorite actor in the house? Is it Distort? Is it Jinx? Is it Bummer? Who is it? I want to know. Tell me. I'll tell you the answer. <laughs> the answer is I cannot answer that question. Oh. I can answer that question. <laughs> Sinister. No, that's that's not. Oh my God. You 
guys have a fairy? Yeah, we have a fairy. Yeah. Oh my god. She's a really well, good actress. Our little fairy is missing her crown and her wand. She's a the, really good actress. The little fairy is my great granddaughter. Well, we're kind of busy. <laughs> Your fairy seems to be a Okay. She's She's she had no idea what we were doing. No, she didn't know we were even filming. But okay, you asked me what Your who favorite my favorite actor. My favorite actor. Bummer, uh, Jinx, and Your niece or your granddaughter. Well she, yeah, she's getting there. She's she gotta be there a little bit longer to get the favorite thing. Um, who else? Jamie's okay. He's gonna love that, ain't he? Havoc. <laughs> oh, Havoc. I'm sorry. Havoc is okay. Oh, I know who you're talking about. Yeah. And, I uh. Say Havoc, I understand. It's, that, these are people that are outside the family. You know, I can't say that. No, you know. I have intermingled questions to that See, question. He can't I just tell thought you of something. Who is. Okay. <laughs> did, did, I, I'm not saying it's him. It's not him. He's not. He, he's he not the show favorite. What, was it, what, I what can't. was it that was ha Havoc? Was Havoc. Was you ever get his teeth fixed? He, he broke his teeth last time I was here. <laughs> oh, yeah. he yeah. We repair him all the time. Uh, he goes through so many teeth. Yeah, he goes through teeth all the time. He was so mad. He was, like, throwing them around the room. And now... Uh, That's what he does when he doesn't get his way. It's funny. Yeah. He breaks his teeth so he can go back and forth. You look at one, one version or the other of him. Either he's calm, <laughs> cool, and collected, or he's absolutely good to... <laughs> but in overall, I like all my actors, you know. Okay. But Good there's At least you don't play favorites. <laughs> Nobody likes a guy who plays favorites. No, I don't play favorites. Good. I have favorites, but I don't play them favorites. Oh, he plays them favorite. He's just not going to play them. Is Halloween Blast right. your favorite? Huh? Is Halloween Blast your favorite? Oh, I love Halloween Blast. Yes, you heard that, guys? But Dave. still not playing favorites. Yeah, I'm playing favorites. No. Halloween Blast is my favorite. Yay! Reviewers, right now. We're getting our butts chewed up for that statement. We're loved. We won't. Love you. you can bleep me. I don't care. Yeah. You know what I said. So. That's all that matters. I think I'm Do blushing. you do anything else besides <laughs> act in the haunt and be an owner? Like, do you? Oh, uh, I do. I do makeup. Oh, cool. And uh, I decorate a lot of the haunt. You know, all of them. I decorate all, most of the rooms. Whoa. So. Yeah, he doesn't decorate alone. Oh. You help him. No, he doesn't. <laughs> no, I, I design it, build it, he ducker. No. Okay, okay, then just scream. Then go scream. <laughs> You're on camera. <laughs> oh, my God. Even outside it hurts a little bit. <laughs> I was wondering what we were hearing earlier. Yeah, that was that was her earlier. Really. She's she's a she's, she's got a scream on her. Yeah. <laughs> and that wasn't what even when you that take wasn't even the full power scream that And you put them in a horror show. That's exactly. They absolutely lose their minds. They, and they turn become... into screaming memes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. Okay, any more? This parts? whole interview was worth just that. <laughs> just to hear her scream. Yes. Yeah. Nope. I think that's it, guys. We're time okay. to wrap it up. Alright. This is this is a wrap. No. That's a wrap. <laughs> this is Halloween Blast with Amanda and John. That's a wrap. And Jason. <laughs> See you guys later. Bye. Oh yeah, wait a minute. Don't forget to check out our Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. Don't forget to hit the like button. Ah! Check out our store online. Yeah. Yeah. Look, I got the original t-shirt, guys. If you want the original, check us out for that. The original. I play favorites. This is my favorite. <laughs> oh, that's the new one. <laughs> I like the new one. <laughs> yep. All right, guys. That's a wrap. Say bye. Say bye. <laughs> Say bye. <laughs> bye, guys. Yeah.